Hi, it's Lee Newbecker, president of Enigma Forensics. I'm a cybersecurity and computer forensic expert witness. And our firm's based here in Chicago within Cook County, Illinois. And I have the pleasure of having our very own Cook County clerk, Karen Yarbrough, appearing on the show today to talk to all of you about what you should know, what you should do as you head out to vote in the next few days. Karen, thanks for being on the show and thanks for sharing these tips. Well, thank you, Lee. Well, thank you for the opportunity. Um, we wanted to be able to tell people what they can expect when they come to vote. For people who come to vote each and every time, they usually know they you need to be prepared. And one way you can prepare is by having your own notes on who you want to vote for. We have brand new machines this time. And those machines, it's going to be a whiz. Everybody has told me they love the, yeah. the new machines. For those who are uncomfortable with using the touch screens, we're going to have the regular paper ballots. But if you're prepared to vote, it should take you a few minutes to just go straight through that ballot. And, you know, usually people have problems with all of the judges. Do your mm -hmm. homework before yeah. you come in. That, well, it certainly will help speed up the lines and redu reduce congestion. Certainly, certainly. Uh, also, you know, wearing, I mean, if you're really concerned, there's nothing that prevents you from wearing gloves to vote. Not at all. We've seen a glasses. few. We've seen few people with gloves on. We've seen few people having their own pens because they mm -hmm. plan to pull a, you know, they want a, a paper ballot. So we're going to, you know, yeah. bring your own pen if you'd like. Um, we're going to, at every station, we're going to have um, uh, the uh, bacterial. Um, the Purell? Yes, we're going to have that. We, we wipe down the stations so after you must each. Have got, you must have got yours early. Yes, we did. Yes, we did. <laughs> you're, you're yeah, prepared. we wanted to be prepared. We yeah. wanted to be prepared. Yeah. We were hearing about what was going on, and we know that we have one day yeah. to do the um, uh, election. Actually, mm -hmm. we have um, all of these days for early voting, yeah. but we have that one day and we got to get it right. Yeah. Now, I've heard that there were some concerns regarding the barcode on some of the ballots that gets printed that that could be. Uh, I have no concerns about that. OK, um, the, the great thing about our new equipment is while you you'll put your ballot mm -hmm. through and and you know the barcode is there but we have a record of each and every mm -hmm. one of those ballots if we have to go back and we do mm -hmm. we go back and we review to make sure things are right so on paper it's doing more than just the qr code it also has the friendly names printed out yes. is that correct oh absolutely okay. yes. so so the concerns that some people had were that you know I think the concern was that the barcode could be different from what's printed, but if that were the case, you'd be able to audit that it, after yeah. the we, fact. And we do a full-blown audit at the end of every election just to make sure. Yeah. And, and so someone voting, they'll be able to actually see the printout on paper. They will be they... able to have that in their hands. Nice. They'll be able to check their choices mm -hmm. and then they will cast their own ballot. And Not it, us, but it, them. And so it gets scanned and yes. digitized, but then yes. the physical ballot gets locked in the box, correct? Yes. So there, there's a, a dual system. And Absolutely. I, I think that makes a, a lot of sense. It does, it does. And it gives people peace of mind. You hear all of these um, stories about, well, my vote may not count and this, I mean, all kinds of things. Mm -hmm. So to prevent those kinds of things, we have a new, we have new equipment and we have a new process, mm -hmm. and I think people are going to like it. Great. Well, everyone get out there and vote, and thanks, Karen, for all your work on this to help make sure Election Day goes smooth. Thank you. Thanks.